Good morning, everyone. I am at Cosmoprof because I ran out of color. We need. We need all of this for my remoist. I use this for my remoist. Let's get blue lapis because you know I make a slate out of that. I think that's all I need. It's recording. Okay. Okay. That's all I need. Sorry. Thanks for coming with me. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday. I'm at the salon. It's about 8.15. Got a busy day today. And let's try vlogging. I'm not sure if I can, but I will try. Ooh, Hi. cheeks. Oh, hey, look, I got a haircut. Oh, I just I just noticed now. Someone is just too busy. Uh, hey guys, we are in West Hollywood right now um, because jump a little bit off of our diet and. Uh, well, today could be our cheat day. Yeah, tomorrow instead of having cheat day yeah. tomorrow, we're having cheat day tonight. Yeah. Because Apudo just opened in West Hollywood of all places, which is really strange. Why? It's like. I don't know, it just doesn't, I don't think like, when I think West Hollywood, I think people who want to eat like healthy and, you know. Robin's healthy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I don't know why it's here. It would have done better downtown, but uh, who knows. And so yeah, let's head inside and give it a shot. Mm -hmm. Are you excited? Yes. I'm super well, excited. Well, it's fine. You got like a Oh yeah, I also got a parking spot right, right in front. In front like right in front. That never happens in LA. So, okay. Yeah. All right, that's a good start. What's your first impression? What do you mean? I don't ever have a first impression of these places. My first impression is that there's no Japanese people here. Oh wait, there's one. Maybe. I'm scared. They could be like Brittany Murphy and Ramen Girl. Good point, Anna. What do you think? What do you think? It's good. Yeah. You should focus here. I'm not just eating. It's Anna Eats. I really like it. It's so good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Close. What do you mean it's delicious? You're crazy. Okay, it's pretty good. It's the closest to the like the broth? You don't think it is like the one like a maku wine? That the pork is dead on to the broth or the pork flavor in, in Japan. <coughs> Actually, no, it's it's exact. <coughs> Sorry, I got spicy. Congratulations, Amanda. Mm -hmm. Is this speaking to you? He's been here like for the last. Five ten minutes trying to figure out which one to buy. This one spoke to me, but it said it wanted to stay here. This one spoke to me. It's okay with leaving. Um. Uh, so you like that one more? This one. Really? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Look, it's he's got sparkles. He's a star. This one's like kind of... I like the tones on that one more. This one? Mm-hmm. Oh, double fisting it this morning, are you, Anna? Um, hey guys, we are down at the uh, Melrose Trading Post. Mm -hmm. Flea Market. We will take you along. Like Come, with us. Come, Come with, with us. Come with us. Right oh, wow. Wow. We're going to go this way. No, Over the opposite there. way. No, oh, that way. Wow, yeah. it's, it's so smart. Wow. Technology these days. Oh, man, we missed it. Hey, I hate these. <laughs> I hate them. Anna hates birds. I hate them. Woohoo. 
Dream catchers catch all your dreams. Uh oh. <laughs> Things are face. I hate it when they face backwards. <laughs> I don't get facing me. Okay. Let's see how this is facing. Yes. Flea market etiquette with Anna. From there, you have to kind of go backwards. So now you yes. Go. Yes. Like, who's going to do this? Who's going to look this way? Wow. I never thought of that, Anna. Huh? Oh, only forty dollars. Sorry, Anna. Oh, I chose you. Another shepherd. We are just headed down to the Alfred Coffee. Kitty cats. Ooh, cats. Um, oh, can I look there first? You going in here? Hmm? Ooh, sailor. Nope. Oh my gosh. It's a whole outfit. It's a look. Here, wait, this is better. Better lighting. There. It's a look. Hey guys, this is probably going to be the quickest haul that I ever do. Um, but let me show you two items that I got today from our little adventure. So I got this vase, this vintage vase. Look at that. Look how cute this is. I got this at the Melrose Trading Post and this baby was $35. Didn't talk it down because she was a cute little girl. Well, not really little, but like, you know, I just didn't want to talk it down. But yeah, we paid $35 for this. Look how cute that is. Look at the tones. Yes, yes, yes. Jesse did not fight me on purchasing this, so I was like, okay, I know I'm gonna be able to go home with this. And then we went to Silver Lake and our old neighborhood, um, went to Golden Age Vintage. Got these overalls and they're so cute. They're French denim, as the girl said. They're super, super cute. Look at this, they're so rad, but yeah. But what makes them special, I love overalls for one, is look at the detail on these buttons and then look at the back look at that so cute but yeah and, it, and if you guys could feel how soft this denim is you would know that it's super soft <laughs> but yeah i got these for you're gonna think it's crazy 129 dollars. i know it's a lot but i got 10 percent off because they were having a labor day sale um, if you want more info from the store, I'll put the link below, but it's Golden Age Vintage in Silver Lake. So yeah, the fastest haul ever. Thanks. <laughs> so funny when it does that. Uh, but yeah, we were gonna get some lunch inside at Elko. One of the first places me and Anna ever had a date. Aww. Many moons ago. Okay. Bye. Bye. Paper straws. Paper straws? Yeah, should I wait? Should I put it in now or should I not? No, hold on. Because you know, once you put it in, there's a countdown <laughs> of like when you could, when it's gonna disintegrate. That's true. So should we put it in now or just I say, wait? I say you wait. I mean, till lunch. Wait until it gets here. Okay, so I'll just hold oh, wait, it. unless it's one of the cardboard ones. Well, that one's gonna last, I think. You think? Yeah, they're a little thicker, right? Yeah, these ones last. Let's see, what time is it? All right, start the timer for paper straw disintegration. It's two o'clock. Wow.
<laughs> That's lasted a pretty long time. Look, it's dead. We're going to vintage your car. I guess you're not going. Some good tiles. Anywhere else? Huh. Blue Rooster Art Store. Let's look at it. Is it close to your store? Right? How do you get all the Look Looks at all like the vintages. That's where Confederacy was. Come in, we're open. Were you there? No, but I Where is where is that? Long Beach, California. I don't get it. Spruce goose. The the thing. The the boat. The boat. The boat. Boat? Yeah. Plane? Santa. I know. What do we need? Who will we kill next? Hey guys, so while we're here in Highland Park, I'd just like to point out a few things that you might want to check out. There's a vintage shop that Anna's in right now. This place is pretty cool. Over here, you have Donut Friend, which is super good donuts. You have Scoops, which is amazing ice cream, and you have Town Pizza, which is really good pizza. And then over here, you have Joy, which is so good. It's Chinese, a Taiwanese, I believe, noodles and small dishes and super good. Hey everyone, so we are back from our little adventure around our neighborhood and we got a couple of cool new things. Say hi to Thor. He's very, he's very antisocial right now. If you watch the vlog, you saw that we're heading to I want to, I forgot what, I always forget what the names of stores are, but one of the vintage stores there, I got my really cool like Sylvester, like this, vin, this vintage Sylvester sweatshirt there, and they're a little bit pricey, but they're very special, if you guys know what I mean. But yeah, so I wanted to get another piece there, but they were closed, but luckily there's another store, a couple of stores down called start a vintage and it was so cute in there we got a lot of like house things it's a little bit of mixture of like clothing um shoes guitars um i think jesse vlogged a couple of bits and pieces of the place so you kind of have an idea of what it is but we ended up getting a few things our home is a mid-century style home so we kind of stick around that vibe if you guys can't tell here but yeah we got a couple of pieces to Put around the house. The first piece that I'm going to show you is this. Look, all you Filipinos know what these are. Pretty much someone in your family did have this hanging on your wall. Spoon and fork. Um, we're just going to put this on a wall somewhere, probably in the kitchen. This is $28. They're vintage and they're in really good shape and they're very cute. And there's going to be a theme here that you're going to see. The next one here is this one was made in Hawaii and it's so cool. Look how special that is. It's actually sketched in someone actually what's that word carved where it came from it says Blair Hawaii 
monkey pool. <laughs> but this was, oh, oh, that's where it's from. The people that made this actually carved it as well because the sticker also says the same thing. But yeah, look, just to hold like our little trinkets, like car keys and like little knickknacks, this will be going in our kitchen. This little wood number was $12. And the next item is this, look at this face. How cute is that? Isn't that cute? Um, look at the tones, very pretty. And this was $14. Look at that. And this will probably go in our bedroom actually. And the last item I got was this. Look, it's just a little trinket case. I guess my theme for this trip was trinkets, but this was $12, but look, and it's made out of stone, made in India as I drop and break it, I drop it and break it, but yeah, pretty. So that was from Stardate Vintage in Los Feliz slash Silver Lake, like it's in the border of that. So then we ventured over to Highland Park and checked out a few vintage stores there, not necessarily vintage, just like a little bit. A lot of like mom and pop stores, which is awesome. Support little mom and pop stores. Um, the first place we went to is called Crush. They have a lot of plants, a lot of little knickknacks. It's just a cute little store there. We got three plants. Um, one of them, oh my God, just love, love, love. And let's just hope I don't kill it because, you know, I tend to kill a lot of plants. That's why we have pots that are empty that need new plants. So let's hope. Um, but yeah, we got three new plants there. I'm staring at, at it right now, hoping that you don't die. But yeah, for sure. And then two items that we also got there is this right here. Look at that. This is banana. Banana. Anna, banana. Get it? So this is for Jesse. He'll put it on his one of his jackets, I'm sure. And I also got some hair clips. Cute, right? Very, very, very cute. So there you go. Next item I'm going to show you is something from Mookie. It's a cute little vintage store in there. We got him a little bandana um, just because, you know, we love getting Mookie bandanas because he's just a cute little dog that needs a bandana. It disappears in his fur, but like, here you go. You can check it out here. Just a nice red vintage bandana. And that was from a place called Leader of the Pack, which is so fitting because, you know, Leader of the Pack, Mookie. Yeah, pack, you know, dog's pack, yeah. Okay, and the last place that we went to, a place called Mindful Nest, and I got this cute belt. Look at that. Very nice vintage belt. It fits, which is amazing. Look at that buckle. It's nice and sturdy. Um, but yeah, look, very nice. But these are the same color tones as my, I have like a, a couple of Golden Goose boots, but I know for sure these are the same tones as my most worn one. I, you, I'm sure you, some of you guys have seen it before, but yeah, it's gonna match. Um, so yeah, those are the few finds that we found today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Not a lot of clothes, just a lot of housewares, cause you know, it's fun for to get stuff around your house. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and we'll see you guys soon.